guys, so this is going to be a part two to the St. Patrick's Day corned beef meal that I'm making. I found another recipe online for an Irish brown bread, and it was off of the website everydayeileen.com, and it looked pretty good, so I thought, why not try it and veganize it? So if you want her recipe, just go straight to her channel. Um... Okay, so we're doubling it. Um, this was for her recipes for one loaf, and I'm going to go ahead and make two loaves. So we're going to get started. This here is eight cups of wheat flour. And I got this King Arthur uh, white whole wheat. Then the recipe called for two cups of buttermilk, but we are using two tablespoons of um. Uh, white vinegar and then you mix it with two cups of your almond milk and you're going to let that sit let me see if I can show you what that looks like you leave it sit for five minutes and it'll make a buttermilk for you okay and next re next step is the eggs so she has here two large eggs whisked and I went ahead and made a flax egg, which is two tablespoons of flax seed to six tablespoons of warm water. And then you just stir it up and you let it sit for five minutes as well. And the next ingredient that I'm changing in it is she has two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'm using um, four tablespoons of applesauce because I'm doubling her recipe. So hopefully that isn't too confusing for you. She also called for some greased um, or non-stick cooking spray on a loaf pan. But instead I'm taking um, pie pans here and I'm using parchment paper with um, cornmeal. Everything else is exactly how she put it out except for we're doubling it. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> so we're going to do all the dry ingredients first. So we got eight cups of whole wheat flour. Then we're going to need two cups of oats. So she said in her recipe there that it was a, a suggestion by one of her people or one of her um, viewers to use uh, quick oats. So I went ahead and got some quick oats here. And we're going to go ahead and add in there two cups worth. So that's one cup and two cups. Make a well like that. And then the next thing we're going to need is sugar. And we're going to use one cup of that. Okay, so now we need one cup of sugar. I lost my one cup measurement, so I have to use a half cup. So if, that, if you're wondering why, looks like I'm using a lot. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what else we got to use. We're going to use... Let's go with the baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. So two, spoon, two teaspoons of brown of baking powder. Okay. Then we're going to do two teaspoons of salt. I'm using the iodized salt. And we need two teaspoons of baking soda. Dump that in there. And let's see what else. I think we're going to go ahead and um, mix this into a little well. Make it into a well. How about we mix it up first? Let's do that. 
let's get this stirred up a little and incorporate the wet ingredients after we stir this up okay now that we're all stirred up we're going to go ahead and add in the wet ingredients so we got the buttermilk aka almond milk and we have the flax egg let's get that in there and let's go ahead and measure out our butter this is applesauce so she did hers where she took the butter and crumbled it into the flour but i i'm not going to do it because we're using liquid so we're going to do it like this so we need four tablespoons of applesauce just we're going to dump it in like that Now we're going to go ahead and stir all this up, incorporate this all up. Oop, sliding again. I'm having a tough time with this thing today. Keeps wanting to slide off of my area. Hopefully you can see this. Mix it all up. She said the two in the recipe, which I found was cool, is that if you find yourself getting, if you find in your area um, the real wheat bread, that's, I guess, better to use the dark wheat. Makes it taste better. Okay guys, so I got got it mixed up. Now it says to just take a little flour and you're just gonna lay turn this out onto the flour. You're gonna knead it for a few minutes. Just incorporate that in there. Mixing it as we go. Surprisingly, this bread doesn't use any yeast. I can't wait to try it. It looked so good. It's tough, but maybe I might have added a tad bit, a little too much flour, but it's a little tough here, but I think it'll be good. It looks very tasty. I read she says in there the old odums o u o d l u m s is the type of flour she likes, but any type of flour will do. <clears throat> I guess that's a flour that you can find in Ireland. She says it's very hard to find in the U.S. Okay, so now that I got this nice and kneaded, I'm going to go ahead and get my pastry cutter and we're going to cut this sucker in half. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. I'm going to cut this in half like this. And we're going to make a round ball out of it. Like this, best you can, pinching and turning. Like that. You can even roll it with two hands. Let me back you up a little because I don't know if you can see. I'm having trouble today with my camera. It keeps wanting to fall. Okay, let's try that. So we get it roll it into a nice a nice loaf round one and then we're going to take a knife 
and we're going to slice it into four on top. Just like that. Can you see how pretty that looks? Now we're going to go ahead and put it on in our baking. In our little baking dish. Pie pan. And work on the other one. Making this into a nice ball. I had to make two, you know, we couldn't just have one. <laughs> we love bread in this house. Just turn it, pat it, get yourself into a nice ball. Okay, looks good. Cut this one in half and the top on the top. Like that. Get my pie plate. Set it in there. Now we're going to bake this into the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes for at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, after 45 minutes, you're supposed to take a toothpick and go down inside to make sure that your bread comes out clean. Then you let it cool for 10 minutes and then you're ready to eat it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this in the oven. And, um, there's my corned beef. You'll see this recipe will be up right before this one because I didn't want to um, put that all up together because I thought it would be too big of a video. So let's go ahead and time this for 45 minutes. Guys, the timer just went off for the bread. Let's pull it out and see what we got. Oh, it split nicely. Okay, so just take a toothpick or something that you have, stick it in there and see if it comes out clean. Yep, looks like it's done. Here, let's do this one. Yep, let's try a thicker piece. Very good, now let's see the bottom. Oh, I have to do it. Let's see if this one comes up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that. It made a heart. Oops. <laughs> made a perfect heart shape. Huh. Okay, I'm going to pull this out of here. Okay, I got it out of the oven now. <laughs> it just looks so cute. Look at that little heart shape on the bottom of that one. So, doesn't that look good? Oh, that's going to be really good. Let me show you what else I have over here. So over here is the... Um, corned beef, potatoes, carrots, and, and um, I was going to say tofu, but this is the corned beef, the fake corned beef. And um, so this here recipe will be up on my channel right before the bread recipe. It's going to go all together as a St. Patrick's Day celebration. Please um, don't forget to look for that. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of my videos. And hit that bell. And hit the bell, yes. And um, we are going to enjoy this. It's too hot to slice, so I'm sorry about that. But um, trust me, you hear it crunch? Listen, it's that and it's like soft in the middle. It's the perfect slice of bread there. Okay, thank you guys. For watching see you again on another episode of it's just an ordinary girl <laughs>